Hey, 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 it's Mardi Gras here in Louisiana. I'm Summer with Hammond's Nest and I'm just getting a little festive with y'all today. I do, I am doing a Louisiana themed craft, but I want you to keep in mind that this particular um, style of art I'm gonna kind of show you is would be cute on so many, many pieces. So when y'all hop on, tell me where you're watching from. You're gonna be saying, throw me something, mister. It's Mardi Gras. If uh, you don't know, I'm a Louisiana girl. Today is Mardi Gras, and I figured it would be fun to have a little gift away. So I've got a Hobby Lobby gift card up for grabs. Just tell me where you're watching from. Sprinkle the video, that's all I wanna know. I wanna know how you're doing today. So in the spirit of Mardi Gras, yes, I'm doing a little, little gift away, and I'm doing a Louisiana themed craft, but what I'm gonna show you is so cool, okay? It is so cool and it's easy for anyone. To me, it almost, I'm no fine artist, but it almost ends up looking like a really cool piece of fine art in some ways, but it's super easy. The steps are so easy to achieve. So that's what I wanna show you today. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. I know people will start hopping on. I'll try to remind uh, y'all what I'm doing, but let me see where I can get down to where I can see the comments still not coming through on, let's see on my phone but okay i do see them on my ipad so i'll do the best to keep up with it how are y'all doing hello patty latanya marie thank y'all for sprinkling yes i have a little throw me something mister it's mardi gras little gift away i have a little hobby lobby gift card i would love to send someone okay so yes i'm in louisiana and if you're anywhere near me, we have a lot of snow outside. If you hear any background noise, my husband and my kids are outside uh, taking in the last of the little sunlight that there is. I'm gonna go join them here in a minute when I'm done showing y'all this cool craft. Um, I have not really ventured out very much, um, but I'm gonna go try to take it in because tomorrow it's gonna be like ice. So like a wintry mix for the rest of the week. So things may get dangerous. I'm not sure about power outages and all that. So I thought I wanted to come craft with y'all live before all that may happen. Hi from freezing Texas and Sarah. It's good to see you. Good to have you on here. Hey from Florida. Thank you for sprinkling. Yeah, so that's all you gotta do. Uh, come back, let me know where you're from and sprinkle the video and I got a little gift card. So at, in the spirit of Mardi Gras, okay? So this will be really beautiful on any shape, any size. I just happen to have this uh, Louisiana cutout. Okay, so that's what I'm working on today. I've already painted it with a coat of white chalk paint. And then I'm going to do this little technique that I'm showing you. Okay, so let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to be using is this Dixie Belle mud. All this is, if you haven't seen me use this before, all this is is a texture mud. Okay, so like I could hold this up <laughs> upside down. It's not going to come out. So you can mix it with paint. You can fill in like cracks and gouges and all that kind of stuff. It's paintable. And, um, but most of the time I do a little bit of furniture, but most of the time I try to use it in art and that's what we're going to do for this one. So watch how this comes together. Okay. It's going to be so neat. And then after I use that, I've got, I'm working with the steel magnolia metallic color, which is so beautiful. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty has a very low sheen to it. Then I have a color called vintage duck egg. So that's a really pretty, um, blue. Some people see green when they see that color. I don't know how it comes off on your phone in particular, but I see blue. A lot of people say they see green. And then I have this custom mix that I did that's actually the color of my front door. And it's part dried sage and part holy guacamole. So it's like a pretty sagey green color. And then we'll be using fluff white, of course. I told you I painted this white. And then I've got this, um, I got it turned upside down because I'm almost out. But it's the iridescent gold and the golden uh, fluid acrylic. So that's what we're going to be working with. I wanted to kind of tell you because, oh, one more color. It's called Haint Blue. And in the spirit of Mardi Gras, the Haints, you'll see this. Um, let me know if you see this around where you're at. But the Haint Blue is a really popular front porch ceiling color to keep away the birds and stuff like that. But the name comes from keeping away the evil spirits, kind of like voodoo stuff or whatever. Now I'm in North Louisiana, so the far as the culture's a little bit softened up here, but it still is Mardi Gras, even though it's looked a little bit different this year. But anyway, so in the spirit of that, I am theming this Louisiana. I got me some beads on and I'm doing the gift away. So sprinkle the video, let me know where you're watching from in the comments and let's get started. Okay, so mud's going on first. This is gonna come together quickly, so don't look away, okay? <laughs> Uh, let me see how to a few more people before I get started because 
Uh, we'll have to work fast on this one. Yucky, icy, snowy, Iowa, Kimberly, sprinkled splash, all the things. You're so sweet. Hey, Mary from Louisiana. Oh, no. Watching from Louisiana, snowy, Leesport, Pennsylvania. That's what that looks like to me. Marie, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, the color scheme's really pretty. It's not Mardi Gras color scheme. You could do that if you wanted to. You could do lots of spring colors if you wanted to. There's really, really no right or wrong here. Hey, Dusty. Hey, Cindy. Okay. All right. So, let's get to it. So, I've got the mud. Like I said, you probably won't want to look away for very long. I'm just stirring it. And this is fun, okay? Anyone could do this. So, you can probably find some texture muds, but this just happens to be the one I have. I'm putting dollops of texture mud all over my Louisiana, okay? Now, this is often a shape that I would make for like a door hanger, but the way that this one's gonna come together, it's gonna be some kind of wall art, okay? Probably. Now, you could seal it all nice and fine, and it could be a door hanger if you wanted it to. But do you see? Look, do you see that? I know you can see that in the camera, so I'm not even like overthinking this, okay? I'm just getting a little bit of texture mud in little daubs all over the place. For this one, my main thing, um, I am going to use some paint brushes for each color, but I'm using a palette knife. If you never use one of those, they're really fun to do some art. Again, let me make this announcement. I am no fine artist. I just find a fun way to use some things, and sometimes it kind of comes out looking like <laughs> it may be. So, that's the fun part. Okay, here, this is the part that's going to move pretty quickly. I showed y'all my one, two, three, four, five, six different colors that I have, and I'm going to be kind of daubing those all over as well, okay? So, starting with, I'm going to start with my colors, which is the Vintage Duck Egg, which was that pretty blue-green, and this, do y'all see this? Look at this randomness. You're not going to believe how pretty this comes out. Well, at least I hope you think so. If you don't like kind of more, this is a little bit more modern looking probably than my normal style. But when I played with it, it was just so beautiful. I'll put a little bit more there. I thought I had to show y'all. Um, okay, then I'm going to use that custom green color, okay? And I'm going to put a little bit of that. That's like a sagey green. Now, one thing about the reason I'm working quick is because, well, I'm working with chalk paint for one. But it is water-based and it blends so beautifully. And so, I just have to keep it wet, okay? Anybody joining us just now, this is not what I'm painting. <laughs> it's got a process, but we're just kind of going through the fun steps. Okay, so the mud starts to dry up, and so will the paint. So, I'm going to give it a light mist. I just have like a mister bottle here. I'm basically keeping my palette from drying out. I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to grab my next color, which I'm going to go with the Haint Blue. All right, really, really, really pretty, almost like baby blue. I will read comments here in just a minute if I'm missing anything, okay? If y'all need me to answer something. I just chose a color scheme that I personally like, but you could go bolder on this for sure. But y'all see how random this is? I bet y'all are so curious. Have you ever done anything like this or <laughs> your favorite way to paint? Okay, so you're funny, Christy. Okay, so I've got a little bit of that kind of spread out. This is, I need to take a picture of this while this, this just looks like it's going to be hideous. <clears throat> Hopefully we can make it pretty, right? Okay, the next color that we're going to do is our Steel Magnolia, which is the Pretty on a Pewter color. Okay, stir that a little bit. And I'm going to add some of that in. You see what I'm kind of doing here? I'm kind of just randomly placing these chunks of paint around. I've only done this one other time. I've done some different techniques where you're kind of blending all the paint colors together, but not quite like this. So we'll see what you think about it. Be sweet if you don't like it now, okay? <laughs> Just be sweet. Let me down easy. <clears throat> okay, so got that. Let's see what color we're missing. Okay, we got our Steel Magnolia. We need our white and our gold. I'm gonna give it another little miss so that none of it's setting up too, too, too much. How are y'all, what are y'all thinking so far? Is this looking crazy or what? Okay, gonna put a little bit more white. Now remember, I painted white on the background, but it's already dry, so it wouldn't blend in. But the white from the mud is gonna blend in a little bit. I probably should have put this in a cup, tainting my, my jar. <clears throat> 
It's okay. I paint a lot of base coats like that and sometimes it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm going to get where there's kind of not any paint. Certainly interesting, this one, but I love it. Okay. It's going to be over before you know it, too. Last one is the gold. Now I have a few different gold metallics. I just really, 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 really love this one. So that's upside down. But the golden brand. It's beautiful. Because it's Mardi Gras, I am doing a gift away, a Hobby Lobby gift card for sprinkling and let me know where you're watching from. That's it. Just in the spirit of throw me something, mister, and I want to throw you a gift card to Hobby Lobby. If you're snowed in like me, you can, <laughs> um, I won't have it in the mail anyway. So until then. Um, and then uh, maybe it'll be you that wins it. You can go shopping in person or online, whatever suits you. Okay, I've got my gold. And now I'm just adding it in random places as well. Oh my gosh. So funny looking. It would be funny if I was really like just leaving this like that. Some people might like that. Okay. Basically just trying to spread out my colors so they're represented when I'm about to do this fun thing that I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to give it one more mist. Then we're going to pull back out our palette knife. Let's do this. Remember I said I'm no fun artist. I'm just having fun, showing you how to have fun. Oh, thank you for sprinkling. Okay, it's all ready. Ready, ready, ready? Let me let me show y'all what this looks like before. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Do you see that? Okay. Ready, set, here we go. All right, grabbing the palette knife and pulling down, melding all the colors together. But not too much where they all get muddled, but just enough where they're all kind of showing. Where I told y'all this is a little bit more modern looking than my normal style, but I was playing and I thought, I really wanted to show y'all this. So I'm trying not to overwork the paint, okay? I'm just pulling it down with a palette knife and the texture in person is amazing. So much fun, so much fun. Now I'm trying not to mix it too much, okay? And I don't want it to dry too much either. So can you kind of see how that's working? You're gonna have patches of uh, colors that kind of look like this. This would be so cute like on a bunny cutout for Easter, a cross. Um, I actually have a cross that I'm gonna try it on. Um, but I did Louisiana because it's Mardi Gras, y'all. And so now I'm just kind of pulling and letting the colors kind of run together with the mud. Oh my goodness, and I have one little embellishment I'm gonna put on here. I'm not gonna do a bow, but I do have an embellishment that you're gonna love, especially if you're from Louisiana. But think about, even if you're not, all the different shapes you could use this on. Now I'm just looking to make sure that I drug everything to the edge at least. Then I have one more touch because this is so super easy, y'all. Look, did y'all see? I mean, really, I wanted y'all to know that you could do this look. It looks a little bit more like modern art of some sort, I would say, but let me show you one more thing I'm gonna do on this one. I'm gonna put a little bit more gold in my cup. Now I have worked with palette knives and had fun with them, but this was really neat doing this. Okay, I put a little bit more gold in my um, cup and I'm gonna take it, see like on the back of here, I got it on the back of my palette knife there and I'm just gonna kind of run it along the edges. I'm gonna show y'all a close up when I'm all finished. I'm gonna add in a little bit more gold cause I love the gold on there. You don't see me use gold a lot, but for like this style, I think it's so beautiful. I need a little bit more. What do y'all think so far? Was that fun? The first thing I put on Arlene was a white chalk paint, just covered the whole entire thing. And then I took like, I picked out my color palette. You could do all kinds of color palettes, okay? I picked out my color palette and then I, um, I just put chunks. You have to go back and watch the video to kind of see what it looks like because it's kind of hard to explain but I put chunks of all the texture mud and the colors I was wanting to use all over. And then I kind of drug the palette knife down. So the fun thing about palette knife is you almost feel like you can't mess it up. I mean, you could. The one thing you would want to do if you try this is don't overwork the paint. Okay. And use light pressure. So I'm not really pushing down that hard. Okay. Let me show you. Let me show you this. All right. Ooh, one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to finger paint. 
y'all, because that's fun. I'm going to take my finger with some of the colors that I used and just drag them along the edges to kind of make it all go together. What'd you think about this one? Wait till you see this little embellishment I already have made over here that's going to go on this. It'll be so pretty. Now, like I said, I know this is a little different than what y'all normally would see from me, but it's fun and you can do so many different things with the color palette that I really wanted to show you. Oh, now it's fun because I'm finger painting with gold. And all I'm doing is I'm just taking care of what's hanging out on the edges, kind of moving it around. This one's gonna be a wall decor piece for sure, like I said. Okay, here we go. So, let me wipe my fingers clean. This is still wet, but y'all, the texture in person is really, really, really neat. Whenever that mud continues to dry, it might like crack in a couple spots and look really, really, really neat. And uh, I just think it's packed with interest, really, honestly. Um, it reminds me of some of those art pieces that you see on the wall. That's why I said it kind of looks like that abstract or... I don't know if it has a name. I told y'all I was not a fun artist by any means, but okay. So let me turn this around without getting it all over my hands. As it continues to dry, isn't that cool? Let me give y'all a close up. So that's what happens when I just drug that palette knife and kind of melded all those colors together. Think of all the pretty color scheme you could use and everything. Okay, I'm gonna keep it turned around because I'm gonna show you real quick what my plan is when this gets all dry, okay? I am. Oh, I don't want to get it gross. Hold on. It's kind of messy and fun. <laughs> I mean, everyone of all ages could do this. Seriously. Okay. Now, I have this little gold floor delete that I painted the same gold that I used to accent. Okay? So, what do y'all think about this? So, since it's going to be wall, wouldn't that look pretty right there? Oh, like right in the center, probably right there. Or like you could put it, if you happen to live in Louisiana, you could put it, you know, where you live. Like I live in North Louisiana around Ruston Shreveport area. So I could put mine up there, but I kind of liked it in the middle there. That's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. I want to show you how simple, there are a lot of different kind of texture muds and things like that out there that you could do and just play and kind of do contemporary, modern kind of art. But I really like, I liked this a lot, so. Okay, I'm going to keep watching for sprinklers and just sharing the love. And, and I'm going to give away, gift away my little um, Hobby Lobby gift card. And I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I'm going to go. The sun's going down. I am going to go try to play out in the snow because tomorrow it's icy. I hope wherever you're at, you're staying warm and cozy. And because uh, that's all I've really been doing and cleaning and doing housework. And, um, and getting ready for this potentially nasty weather where I'm at. But I know like a lot of Texans and... Uh, people in Mississippi and all that that have getting kind of the same weather we're getting, you know, it's getting yucky. So y'all stay safe and stay warm and I'll pick a winner uh, for the little gift away. Um, I don't know what's today. Oh, today's Fat Tuesday because Mardi Gras. Um, I'll pick a winner at least by the end of tomorrow. I'll give for the video to kind of circulate a little bit so we can sprinkle the love and then I'll just mail out the gift card to whoever wins. But isn't that cool? So I hope y'all enjoyed that little bit of different flavor today. And I'll see you with another idea soon. Bye. Let me make sure. Hang on. Before I tell y'all bye-bye, let me make sure that I didn't have any questions that I can answer live. Thank you, Janice. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you, Rachel and Marie, for y'all sweet I love it comments. Yeah, and the gold fun. Yeah, you could use sparkle. Absolutely, Christine. You could put sparkle in this. You could make it completely your own. The harder you drag, it would look a little different. Um, and, I mean, really just adding all kinds of colors, really up to you. But uh, I just wanted to kind of show you the technique, and then you can take it and do what you like. Thank you, Michelle. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, so there weren't any, like, artsy, artsy questions, so just wanted to make sure. Okay, well, until next time, bye.